came back with another lecture. In this lecture, I will talk about Pembrolizumab or Keytruda. Pembrolizumab, under the brand name Keytruda, is an anti-cancer immunotherapy medication. It was first discovered in 2006 by scientists and organ and pharmaceutical company located in New Jersey. It was approved for cancer treatment in the United States in 2014. Pembrolizumab is a humanized antibody, which means it's an antibody from non-human species, but with modified components to increase its similarity to human antibodies. It binds to PD-1 receptors on the surface of T cells and inhibits their interaction with the PDL1 and PDL2 ligands on the surface of antigen presenting cells that in this case are cancer cells. PDL1 and PDL2 are immune checkpoints typically produced by the cells in our body, and with their interaction with activated T cells, they prevent receiving any damage from our own immune system. Cancer cells also have the PDL1 and PDL2 to evade and not be killed by our body's immune system. The concept here is by blocking PD1 pathway, we can enhance T cells' response. However, this can also result in immune-related side effects that we will further discuss in this lecture. Cancer cells can become resistant to pembrolizumab via different mechanism. One mechanism is activation of other immune checkpoint pathways. Another resistant method is increasing expression of other mechanism to escape the immune system such as high expression of PDL1 in tumor cells or change in extracellular matrix surrounding the cell and be immune from invasion. Pembrolizumab has been used for different types of cancer, including metastatic melanoma, metastatic non-small cell lung cancer alone or in combination with other regimens, recurrent or metastatic head and neck cancer, a small cell lung cancer, refractory classical Hodgkin lymphoma, refractory primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, and metastatic gastric and gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma. Pembrolizumab has not shown any specific drug interactions, but it can result in significant immune-mediated side effects due to activation and proliferation of T-cells. It can cause inflammatory reaction in different organs. It can cause inflammatory response in lungs, which is called pneumonitis, and can present with cough and shortness of breath. In large bowel, also can cause inflammation, which is called colitis, and can present with diarrhea and abdominal pain. Further, it can cause inflammation in peripheral nerves and muscles and result in neuropathy and myositis, respectively. It can cause renal or kidney toxicity, which is called nephritis. It can affect our endocrine system. For instance, it can result in thyroid disorders and adrenal insufficiency. It can also result in skin toxicity and present with rash and pruritus or itchiness. Pembrolizumab is pregnancy category D, meaning it may cause fetal harm when given to a pregnant woman. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next lecture.